We are driving to two top secret locations. The first, to get a bunch of guns. The second, to go to a place where we can shoot the guns. And we're hanging out with Forrest from Recoil Magazine, who's gonna be taking pictures, I guess? Yep, yeah, I will be. And shooting guns. And shooting guns. All right. That's what we do. There we go. Seeing the Barrett as a uh, <laughs> investment piece is hilarious. Oh, definitely, man. Yeah, like, I'm gonna make money off of this. Well, it's not so much about making money, it's about investing in something that lasts. Yeah. It's still got the shipping grease on it, it's in its box, we haven't used it, we'll have fun with it. If Joe Biden makes it an NFA item, which maybe, maybe not, probably not, but if he does, it's gonna go up like a ridiculous amount of value. That's great. And then if the apocalypse happens, you can take out a helicopter if you need to. When you're thinking about, what, what is your, uh, your, your strategy? Oh, you know, some food, some water, anti-aircraft materials. <laughs> But so that should be good. Let's put uh, ears on, huh? I think I'm prepared, guys. I'm like overkill. So we're doing a first shot. Uh, yep. All right. There you go. So for here, stance has changed a little bit, but instead of leaning all the way in, have your feet generally pointed towards your target. It's not so super specific. Like that. Yep. And then and then like that. So this hand will be high up on the tang, tang being the grip, and then for this hand, you're gonna to wanna to extend it about halfway through. And what you're doing here is you're either, you're pulling into your shoulder, yeah. and you're being able to relax this hand a little bit, because this one wants to have control over the trigger. Right. And so when you then just look through, aim the dot at the thing and pull the trigger? Yep. That's right. All right, everybody ready? Yep. Isn't that satisfying? Yeah. Yeah. That's great. That's yeah. why we got it. All right. <laughs> Little to no recoil. To do anything other than just shoot it, you know? Stuff. You mind? Do it to it. Because I took one shot here, and we're just off to the left. I see. So you you're saying that my shot was similar to yours? Yeah. Yeah. Like, if for us, it's going to be the same. The only difference between you and I, like, the I, the sight is not zeroed to a person, it's right, zeroed right. to the weapon, yeah. so, cool. I also imagine you're probably much more likely to hit it than I am, so. Okay. This is a Chiapas 357 Magnum. You can see that it's actually lower. Yep. Which they told me is better for recoil because it pushes more of the force into your arm as opposed to up. I grabbed the wrong ammo. I was excited for it, but I guess not today. <laughs> but we do have the governor, which we have ammo for. Lock it, make sure it's locked. And then all you're gonna do is pull back on the hammer, that's gonna release three quarters of the pressure on the trigger. So it's maybe gonna take a couple pounds and then just let her rip, man. After that, it's gonna be a lot harder to shoot. Yeah. But just roll through the magazine. Keep, I could hammer it. Yeah, one hammer, hammer one time, That's that, that makes it. You wanna show me how to hold it properly? Kind of athletic stance is what you're gonna hear a lot when it comes to weapons. So you skateboard, dude. Like, so yeah. I snowboard, I skateboard. Jump up and down where you fall. That's kind of where you're gonna wanna be. And then you're gonna take your non-firing leg move it forward and then just square you always want to be squared up to the target no matter what so you can keep it low you yeah. can tuck it you know or you can go behind right here but just stay below that hammer but just stay squared up to that target athletic stance look down the sights concentrate all your energy on that front sight post but look through just like you do any other weapon hold it tight let it rip it won't right. kick too bad man But I mean, you you killed it. Yeah. <laughs> like that's so for it sure. looks like. Well, I don't know what you got loaded in there. So this is Hornady Critical Defense. It's uh, one slug and then two buckshot. Oh, how cool, man! Yeah. yeah so, so the it smaller looks like ones, the slugs are cleaner. Yep. And the buckshot kind of. Yeah, the buckshot will splatter. Yeah. It's kind of confusing when you're looking at shotgun shells because it's like five shot, high brass, seven point. Like you're, like, yeah. You don't know what you're looking at, but. If you just look at it and it says a number, you shooting can shooting the the long colts out of this, you barely notice. Like the recoil is easy. Yeah. These things, you could feel it. Oh, a slug! I mean, yeah. that's a big piece of metal. Yeah, I know. I could there. feel it. I'm like, oh man. Weapon 
it on safe. Oh yeah. Drop the magazine. Can't put it on safe. I gotta pull the So you have a, this is a malfunction, finger out of the trigger well. What we're gonna do is you're gonna pull this charging handle and lock it to the rear with the bolt lock right here. So I got it for you, put it forward. So what happened is now you can put it on safe. Yep. Nope, so safe. it could be a number of things. It could be anything from it just oh. not being lubricated. It was, it was JAMA. Yeah, so now we just inspect the chamber, inspect the bolt. We're good on both of those. So the weapon just malfunctioned. Mm -hmm. It will not go back on safe because the weapon's already cycled and it needs to recycle mm -hmm. and something's preventing it from doing it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is press the bolt latch is what this called. Pull it to the rear. It'll eject that round. Slam that charging handle back forward. We're gonna flip it over, inspect the chamber. I'm gonna look forward to make sure there's nothing on the bolt face. And then I just drop the magazine place it back on the and I, I, you see he locked it against his shoulder that's what really helped him hold that as, yeah. an, as one hand yeah now okay. i can throw this just on the ground yeah i'll take it there so uh and we'll uh finish off the last yeah. four mm -hmm. The model 82A1 Barrett Firearms. This is for um, when you are hunting tanks. In the neighbor's uh, And helicopters. <laughs> wow, this is a heavy boy. It's a big boy. So in a uh, infantry platoon, there's one- You see how easy this is to load though? Yeah, seriously. Probably even easier to uh, discharge. Get myself. <sighs> Iron sights. It's not a complicated process, it's doing it right. Yeah. If I'm, where I'm sitting here, what ends up happening is the bolt's riding high, so I need to do some. There you go. You're good. Boom. Nailed it. Get it together. And First time. Put it on safe. Attempt to fire on safe. Put Nothing. It on fire, fire. Charge and hold. Let go. Good to go, baby. <laughs> good to go. Well, so there's a gong to steal target, and it's the only steel target you guys have. We're gonna blow it up. <laughs> this is so heavy. <laughs> no, go, no, go sneak in and lockpick that building. Yeah, I know. Fallout New Vegas. All right. <laughs> oh. Thank you. You ready? We'll see where that right. goes. Safety's off. Safety's off. The big boy. Off. Ready? Yep. Way high. Woo! Gotta aim low. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, man. someone else's turn, because I just got punched in the face. Oh. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was it. It's still, still standing. Yeah. Metal. Must be the a lot of energy easily got absorbed by look. Yeah, and there's yeah, yeah and there's a spring back there too. Your uh, your two bottom screws are cracked. <laughs> <laughs> they broke off. No way, really? Oh, holy shit! You, 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 this one's still here. This one's sunk into the wood and it cracked it here and here. Which which one is the 50 BMG? So this could have been it. I was thinking it was this big guy down here, but when we got, I mean, that's Oops, probably. And it. maybe that's why it didn't shatter the whole thing because it. Yeah, I think yeah. a lot of the energy got lost because this is the same size as this. Same right. Size. Yeah. So and from back massive, there, I, just, I thought this was a big dent from hot? back there. I don't know, but that's it. This is it. That makes the most sense. Yeah. Good that's fun. how it survived. You have a glancing blow. Yeah.
drone crashed. It's not my fault. For some reason, we couldn't go above 18 feet. And then all that beautiful drone footage, I, I got all those great shots. I was flying this forward and it wouldn't stop. And I tried pulling back and it slammed into a tree. So stupid drone. So apparently Tim needs a license to how to fly a drone. Because uh, he just hits the trees, breaks them. Ha 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 ha!